Hi friends, Father Scott again. We continue our celebration of the octave of Easter today. And we continue our look at what the resurrection means for us. Last time I talked about how the resurrection shows us that Jesus really is who he says he is. That because of the resurrection, we know that Jesus is Lord and Christ. Today I'd like for us to think about how, uh, what the resurrection uh, tells us about death. Because of the resurrection, we are uh, shown that death is not the final act that uh, we so often think that it is. That death is simply a transition from one stage of life to another. We were made for eternity. And how we spend that eternity, that's the question. Jesus shows us one of the options for how we will spend eternity. Jesus shows us what life with God looks like, a life without the limitations that we experience while we're in this mortal flesh, a life that uh, will be completely renewed, a life that will be in a glorified body that, is, that doesn't know the limitations that we currently experience. That is a possibility now that has been open to us because of Jesus' obedience to the Father, his suffering and death, and his resurrection opens the way for our resurrected life. We have uh, the possibility now of knowing uh, we get a glimpse through Jesus and he shows us what the life to come looks like. And so now we can look at death without fear. We can uh, look to the end of this life as the beginning of a glorious new kind of life when we live today in faith. And so, you know, it's like St. Paul says, death, where is your sting? Death, where is your victory? You know, the devil can no longer use the fear of death as a way to shadow, you know, cast a shadow over our lives now. Because Christ has overcome death. And Christ has returned us to the glorious hope of eternal life with God. May that hope of new life after death keep us and sustain us and give us the courage to live our lives now uh, in joy and in generosity, knowing that ultimately God is waiting for us at the end of this life to bring us into a new kind of life. God bless you, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.